G'day! Today we are playing some more Flycorp. Um, there has been an update to the game as well where they've said that it should now be working um, a bit smoother, like there shouldn't be as much drag and lag. So let's find out. Certainly a little bit of lag coming in there, but that's alright. So let's have a look. First test. That's not bad. Compared to what we've been seeing, That's that does seem like an improvement. Still not overly watchable though, so, so I will probably just continue to play steady mode. Okay, so we'll keep opening over the forward countries as we go. So we will bring in Aman and Abi Musket, I believe, that we've got there. Yep, Musket. And then we will dive back into our connections. So we have these four cities here. question is where do we want to connect them also got that guy there so so he's three seven he's three seven as well maybe we'll go two nine bring him in and then up and Work this out so that goes up there so we get rid of that route. Bring this guy in here. We get rid of that route. And we bounce that that way. So then we these guys all upgraded. Okay, then up here what we'll do is we will um, get rid of that guy, send him up to EA, slowly get that guy across there, sell that one, there, let's make sure that we get these two guys updated correctly. Planes updated. Uh, and then what we'll do is sell that guy. Shift those two to bring him in. Now these guys all have small planes at the moment. This is the part where like, I was expecting so much change to come in that we weren't upgrading the planes. So we'll leave them not upgraded at this end at the moment. Come up into a whole lot of stuff in Sudan and then a whole lot of stuff in Egypt. So I guess the first thing that we've got to work out is how much of this do we want connected in this section before we go south through Ethiopia? How much of it do we want to use to sort of head north? So I feel that the distance between these two is about the same as the distance between those two. Right, the cost is much different, but I think that's just because of the angle that sort of the same distance going one way isn't, as, isn't the same as the other. So possibly what we want to do is take these Take all of these ones, take this one, two, three, four, five, six, have them be the run of, of cities coming from um, Atreya, and then bounce up that way, somehow working out how to slot this guy in. Maybe. Um, and then these three guys all connect to Saudi Arabia. So let's um, start down here. Rumbeck. And what we'll do is we won't upgrade planes at this stage, we'll just upgrade airports. And we'll have to come back for the planes. So what I think we want to do here is we connect these two together. Then we get rid of that guy. And we head north. 
He goes up. And then we just sort of connect the dots running around the top here. Slowly, slowly. Definitely not feeling like it's running any better at this stage. I should also say there was a, uh, one of the things that they addressed was there was a memory drop. Actually, no, I don't want those two, do I? Uh, a memory sort of leak that it was having that was also causing longer games to have problems. I don't know if that means like in a single session or if like a save game is going to be suffering from that. Okay, so that's our first little loop. Let's get the uh, those that need upgrading upgraded. Oh, that guy's max level. Ugh, another little guy. Okay. So then we go up here, we swing around. Uh, then we come down and we will get... Boba to sit between these two. Make sure that guy's up to date. Yep, good. And then we'll get... Miguel? Miguel? Migueli? Sit between those two. Then down here, we will get... Zada to sort of just bounce in there. So I think here what we do is we go from Galkeo to Garoi to Bandabela to Quado and up. Ah. Whoop. Hint should have been there when I had um it was a hundred dollars, not two hundred that it was gonna cost me. Okay. So I mean all of these I could actually like And the the question here I guess is whether we're gonna see any more cities through the middle of Saudi Arabia and Oman. Because if we're just going to be in Southern Oman and Northern Oman and the UAE is going to be all up there, then possibly what I want to do is put this looper guys all in here. So we might do that for now. Get him there and then let's do some long jumps up that way. I mean, as long as that route's shorter than these two, it doesn't matter how long it is, really, because it'll all sort of just be taking the same amount of time. It's just if we can avoid putting in a, a longest route, ideal. Do that too. And done. Okay. So that guy is already upgraded. It's just we've got to upgrade the planes to clean up all of the guys that have been sitting in his uh, destination for so long. These two guys can still connect to the side. I think still we'll connect these two guys to this. Let's 
to a straight connection. These guys logically look like they'd want to be in a row. I wonder if these cities are all following the path of a river as well, because they do sort of just seem to chain in, in a row. Okay, so the question is, can we get from this guy to that guy without them crossing him? No, they can't. So we can't do that. This means we've got to have that long route. Maybe we do this. Get rid of that one. We have him hop across. Go up. Then across. Then down. And up. And then we're into... Egypt. Alright. Ah. And you've already repurchased cities line there. that that guy is getting heavy because it means that one side of this must be pushing a lot harder than the other side so let's Get him as a 500 see if that's enough to tip that into working better okay so I think what we do is we we know that these two have to connect like that although this is going to go Really, from there, we want to go up. So let's go... One... Two... Let's zoom in while we do it. These guys... Down to... Gaga. No, sorry. Cross. Then up. And up. Alexandria. Okay. Now. We probably want to bring in um, Jordan too soon because they are going to be sort of like the cross point between what we've got up here and then connecting down to these guys and obviously the UAE is going to be pretty important too. So let's go, let's keep that guy there, we'll go down to Cairo and then down. And down again. So from here do we then jump? Hmm. It's our better route there. Maybe we go up. I don't. Th I think these two cities here, we get rid of that guy, and instead we build across that. Here we go up to Baba, down to Tabuk.
And let's say we go down, cross, up. All right, and now we're actually reaching the end of the line here. Let's uh, let's talk about these cities or these countries rather that we've just gotten. So Oman, I have heard, is one of the is the nicest place to visit uh, on the uh, Arabian Peninsula. That it's uh, it's got a very like a lot of it's very new world, um, but if you want sort of like old world um, sort of Arabic countries, it's Oman. Uh, I did know someone from Oman who's since moved back. Seemed to like it. And I've had people holiday as well into the area and, and Oman's the, the location they've spoken highly of. So let's learn about them. Officially the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, population of 4.5 million, so not that big, so I would imagine that the majority of that population surely lives in the north. From the 17th century, the Omani Sultanate was an empire vying with the Portuguese and British empires for influence in the Persian and Indian Gulf, and it speaks in the 19th century money influence or control extended across the Strait of Hormuz to modern-day Iran, Pakistan, and as far south as Zanzibar. I know that, um, the guy that I knew from Oman, he was telling me how, um, they had their strongest relationship was with an African country, so maybe that must be Zanzibar, or... I mean, that's extent, but it was someone down here. I can't quite remember who it was. I'm going to leave those three guys unconnected at the moment. Uh, let's just make sure we got everyone upgraded. I would say most of Africa we should now be right. Ugh, I hate doing that. Um, most of Africa we should be right to, um, sort of upgrade their planes, so we can probably assume that they're all good from here. It'll only be these guys that are sort of on the outskirts that need to redesign their connections through. new game, Jordan, uh, the Hashemite Kingdom, Hashemite, Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, official name, we in the crossroads of Asia and Europe, yep, checks out. Population of 11 million. Been inhabited with uh, people since the Paleolithic period. Uh, which is a, a, a massive period of th from 3.3 million years ago to 11,000 years ago. Somewhere in there. Got all 
this guy's check. Good. I mean, I could just connect these these three guys here just into here. But I suppose it depends on what way we sort of are heading out. We do want to head north. So, I mean, I don't know where their Iraqi cities are, but if they are in this corner, we could then bounce like that way to, to get up, or we can just loop. But I assume there's definitely going to be at least one Lebanese city in Lebanon, so we know that potentially it just has to swing up to, to come back. Once we have a few more countries, maybe up to Turkey, I might, uh, I mean, even just the amount of money I have might also be the influence that lets me, makes me leave the game run for a while to, uh, to get more money and then also sort of blow open the amount of cities that we have on the, the peninsula here. I think uh, you can, one problem you can see with the uh, the string challenge that we've got here is that the um, the amount of money I'm making I don't think is going up very fast because the the big money is going to be in long distance trips and every time a city is not like is losing passengers because it's it's sort of maxing out means that there are flights that have gone from say one end with a person trying to get to LA that have like crashed and burnt before they've gotten anywhere near LA. What city was I up to there? I was over here wasn't I? These guys upgraded. Uh, we will bring these guys up a bit as well. Let them lose passengers. And then what we've got to do is go back down to where have we stopped upgrading planes? So this guy here. Yep, kid. Since we're still dealing in small countries, I, I think before this one's out, we might bring in Kuwait as well. I can't imagine that Kuwait's going to need more than a city. Might get two, but... It's like they're graying out while they're inside a, um, like while they're inside the airport. Why that would be a thing. Really slowly. ones that look bad that are sort of like high red are actually the ones that have been really high level for a really long time and they're just 
like we've only got 50 guys you can move out at a time so we're going to be sitting considered populated for a while since we've got 10,000 guys you need to be able to shift out of here good news is at least the next video we do we can spend some time seeing how the whole world's looking Europe is getting um, more out of control if Africa is now starting to have real struggle points because of how many cities it's got that it has to move through. That goes really fast. That goes fast. All right, let's get Kuwait in here. All right, let's look up Kuwait. All right, formerly known as Korean, A U R E Y N. Korean and officially the state of Kuwait uh, Kuwait has a population of 4.67 million people of which 1.8 million are Kuwaiti citizens and the remaining 2.8 are foreign nationals from over 100 countries For me, I feel like the only thing I really know about Kuwait is that their gold was stolen by Iraq in the first Iraqi war. This information coming from the movie Three Kings. So um, I assume it's historically accurate that that happened and then George Clooney stole a whole bunch of that money back and then hid it. movie did also teach me all about um uh oh, what do you call it now the thing where your lung starts to collapse on itself uh n pneumothorax no is it a pneumothorax basically you get you puncture your lung and then as you continue to breathe, your chest fills up with air because of that hole. And then it means that the amount of air pressure in your chest starts to brush your lung and you start to struggle to breathe. I've got to look that up if that's the right name for it. Yes, pneumothorax. There we go. I did work for a, uh, a company that was had um was medical adjacent so I did also learn about some medical stuff from there too but when the, I think pneumothorax is was part of that as well but I was like nah don't worry I know what that is Marky Mark at it I think the 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 I realize that a lot of my videos are more about relaxing so you don't want to hear about gross stuff I feel like one of the, the more cringeworthy procedure things I heard was that you when um you have to put an air tube down someone's throat to, to sort of help them breathe you've got to be careful that you do put it down their breathing tube and not their stomach tube because if you were to put a breathing tube into someone's stomach and start 
pumping it, you would push their you would push their stomach acids up out of their stomach into their mouth and then into their airway. Probably not into their mouth because it would be before then. It would go up into their airway and they would drown on their own stomach acids. So that's why you've got to learn proper technique how to put an air chip down someone. Now you can share that living nightmare <laughs> along with me. The burden I've carried for years now. Alright, well this is a nice get, this little city here. And we will stop upgrading planes. Now we're into sort of like the uh, part of the peninsula. They're a bit of a weird spot. You can see I'm already getting punished for having upgraded some of these planes already. So let's just get I snuck in there. And I guess this guy's going to have to go in here for now. I wonder what this coastline's like. I mean, you can see that there are definitely cities on it. You've got the Port of Sedan there. And this is... Um, recently, there was the... Um, that waterway that got blocked by the freight, shipping um, freight that got went across it. And I'm pretty sure that was somewhere in here. So I would imagine that does mean that this is a pretty lively um, shipping route. Thought that there could be a few cities that could benefit from, from being on that line. All right, so now we'll jump this guy up to there. Cross. Didn't need to upgrade that plane either. All right, for now, we're going to get rid of that and we'll go these three guys in here. That's the right one. Funny is that those three are all so close and they're all capital cities, so it's possible that they'll also end up getting some um supersonic jets. I upgraded Kuwait, didn't I? Good. Alright. Well that's we can now definitely see that we are starting to get these longer routes struggling. So let's give them a few 300 seaters. That one's causing him grief. That is causing them grief. Double check that they definitely are upgraded. He's upgraded. And we can identify some small planes about because we've got red, uh, sorry, small yeah, small planes about because the places next to them are freaking out. Good. It's nice when we get someone to shorten her out. No, we don't want to upgrade those guys. We just want to upgrade the airport. And some of these guys, they probably... I mean, this guy's shifting red populations of people as well. I, because of how long some of these cities have been sitting up there, it is possible that they are just so overcrowded with people that it's going to take a while to, to shift all those along. Quite amazing to see how few red cities we've got over here. This guy is broken at this stage, I'd say. So possibly we've got so many blue cities, uh, blue cities, green cities, because it's just broken. But uh, we'll see. We have such a dense set of uh, cities in there. That's great. 
All right, but we might call it there for this one. So a bit of a spread of, of new cities in there. We've got, what do we get? Jordan, Oman, and Qatar. Three more in there. And I do look forward to giving the Middle East a little bit more time to, to get us more cities in there. But that won't be in the next break. We'll get uh, the UAE, Lebanon, and I Iraq. Actually, I was going to say Iraq maybe should be the next one because it's the biggest one. But the UAE should be the, the one that's sort of already on the path that we've skipped over. So maybe Iraq and the UAE next. All right. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. Yeah.